Eve now at 742. Lovely crowd out there with more of our special Rawson Report series. Can you hear me now? So a couple of weeks ago, we showed you this video of a phone that was accidentally dropped from a building 40 stories up. Remarkably, when it hit the ground, it still worked. That got us thinking, would your phone survive a big fall? Today, National Investigative Correspondent Jeff Rawson decided to find out. Jeff, good morning. I didn't use your phone. Don't Thank worry. You. Grab Thank it right you. out of your office. Look, let's be clear. That video we just showed you, it's a miracle. It's a fluke. Even the most expensive phones in the world aren't designed to fall off a building and still work. But I'm a curious boy, and I like dropping things off. So I somehow convinced my bosses at NBC to buy a bunch of phones, the most popular brands, and let me drop them off a building. Would they still work? What happened is so surprising, even our expert had to eat his own words. The video is incredible. An iPhone 6 rocketing to the ground, accidentally dropped from the 40th floor of a skyscraper in Dubai. It smacks with a thud, but unbelievably, the guy who owns it says it survived. So we went out and we bought these new phones, the new BlackBerry, a Samsung Galaxy, and oh yes, the iPhone 6. We also bought these generic silicone cases. The guy who dropped his phone off that building in Dubai says his phone survived inside of a case like this. So the question is, will these phones survive? And of course, we'll need a building, a big one. The Astoria, now under construction in Houston, Texas. There I am, ready to go. And we're starting three stories up. Watching everything, tech expert Jim Stickley. All right, so here are the phones. What do you think is going to happen? I think three stories is going to do them in. I think it's going to be shattered glass, shattered parts. I think they're done. Let's start climbing. Here we go. I am standing three stories up. I mean, this is like standing on the roof of a pretty big house and dropping your phone off of it onto concrete. Standing by all the way down there, my producer, Josh. This right here is the landing zone. All right, here's the iPhone 6, the same kind of phone that was dropped off that tower in Dubai. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Wow. It didn't even crack. Look at that, it's still going. Are you serious? It's recording me right now. Take another look in slow motion. The phone bounces off the ground with barely a scratch. There's Jeff. Hi, I can't believe you're still working. All right, here's the new Blackberry right out of the box. Three story drop. Look at that, not even a scratch on it. Still works. All right, this is a brand new Samsung Galaxy. Let's see what happens at three stories. Here we go. Holy cow, it's still rolling. Not even a scratch on it. Look at that. It's looking at you. What do you make of this? It makes no sense at all. You're surprised? I'm shocked. Why is it when my phone falls out of my pocket, it'll hit the ground just standing on the street, shatter the screen, it won't work, but from three stories up, they work. You know, your phone falls, it hits just that right angle, maybe it hits a pebble that just hits the screen just right. We blew your mind. Blown. We blew the expert's mind. Should we go higher? Oh, absolutely. 10 stories? Yeah, I think that'd be perfect. So up we go again. 10 stories, about 100 feet. Oh, I am queasy right now. I am afraid of heights, so this is uncomfortable for me. Here we go, it's the iPhone 6. Dropping it from 10 stories, here we are. Oh God. I heard the crack all the way up here. Let's go to the slow-mo, smacking down so hard, dust flies up. It's definitely broken. Same thing with the Blackberry. And the Samsung. The screens shattered, the bodies of the phones bent. Oh, I saw that one smash down. They're all toast. I would have expected this at three stories. Apparently it takes 10 stories to destroy a phone. That's what we've learned here today. Yes. <laughs> Consider yourself taught. We reached out to all the companies for a statement, but they didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Shockingly, but look, even if your phone is destroyed, some good news, you can actually go to a data recovery center. Like when that iPhone broke, we actually were able to pull the video off. You have to pay a fee, but huh. if you want your photos, you want your photos, so you pay money. But anyway, you Kids said they didn't say anything. Home. However, private, they're all going, three stories. Yeah. 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 Right. They should put that in a commercial. Yeah, that's amazing. That's right. yeah. Oh, Jeff, thank, thank you. you. That's Thanks. very cool. Yeah.